say it all the time. No team quite like the Ravens, Derek, mm -hmm. that's back out in the community every Monday. Not only do they get the big win, they get the weather too. What a beautiful day for some football yesterday. Absolutely, yeah. A little bit on the windy side, but still, it was nice yeah. to see the sunshine peek in from time to time. It looks like we've got more of that on the way this week. Sunshine, that is. And we also have summer like temperatures on the way as well. We're going to be in the 30s and 40s tonight, but by the end of the week, we're hitting 80 again, believe it or not. 65 is where we ended up this afternoon out at BWI Thurgood Marshall. Just a little bit before 3.30, our average high is about 66. Low this morning was 41, so we're going to be about the same tomorrow morning, maybe a little bit colder in some spots. We're down to 44 already out of the airport with uh, dew points now running into the 30s, so the air is very dry. It warms up quickly. It also cools down quickly. It is going to be the cold temperatures overnight tonight as a result of the light winds and dry air in place. Frost advisory in effect for most of the state tonight. Now, not everybody's going to see a frost tonight, but in some of those pockets, we will see temperatures dropping into the mid to upper 30s, and that's where the potential will be for a little bit of frost overnight tonight. Go with a low around 41, 42 here in Baltimore overnight. Warming up though to around 70 here for tomorrow afternoon, but you can see where some of the coldest temperatures are going to be tonight, particularly out towards places like Clarksville and Columbia, out towards places like Glen L, Woodstock, and heading up into Carroll County, also into rural Baltimore County as well. Uh, temperatures dropping around 37, 38, not 39 degrees here by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. All because of high pressure that is building in. Now, what we're going to be watching for is this little disturbance is moving across the Great Lakes. Notice some of these clouds trying to sneak in here. That is the only fly in the ointment tonight that would actually keep temperatures from dropping as cool as if we get some of these high clouds streaming in here late tonight that will keep the temperatures from getting too cool and some of our forecast models have hinted at that but either way you look at it it's going to be a chilly night then we look towards the end of the week Big dome of high pressure to our south. Watch how this thing starts to build northward by the middle part of the week. What does that mean? Stronger than normal high pressure for much of the southeast and eastern U.S. means temperatures are going to crank up later this week. We're talking highs near 70 tomorrow, mid 70s Wednesday, upper 70s Thursday, and right around 80 from Friday all the way perhaps even into next Monday. Now keep in mind, Halloween's next Tuesday. That's going to be the transition day, and notice how we tank. At least the temperatures kind of drop off a cliff here by the middle part of the week. So we're going to see a significant change by the middle of the week, but right now we're going to be enjoying some unseasonably warm temperatures. So again, after a chilly start tonight and tomorrow night, we're going to see highs around 70 tomorrow, mid-70s on Wednesday, but then by the end of the week, we're looking at a nice stretch of 80-degree weather in some spots, upper 70s lower 80s, and that's going to last here all the way through the first part of next week. Of course, we're going to keep our eyes on that forecast next week for the kiddos and the trick-or-treaters here next Tuesday. That will be the transition date. It could either be colder or we could still see highs in the 70s. We'll keep you updated. Rick, back to you. 80s end of October. We'll take it. Derek, thank you. And for more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Sina Gabber Ave, Amy Kawada, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ. It all starts at 4.30 a.m.